Choose the tougher matchup for LeBron this weekend, Kawhi or Giannis? Kawhi. And when I say tougher matchup, I'm not even just talking physically. Um, first of all, it's time that people get on the bandwagon that I've been pulling about Kawhi now for a couple <laughs> years. What is it going to take? The dude went to Toronto, won, had, had an all-time, like an historically great playoff run, played the best hu defense humanly or superhumanly possible on the freak, and wound up winning finals MVP. He followed that up by going to L.A. And before he did, I told everyone, who, if he stays in Toronto, Toronto will surely win another championship. And look at, imagine if you had Kawhi on that team. If he goes to L.A., the Clippers will win a championship, which I believe they're going to do. But forget about all that for a second. He's played LeBron twice so far this year, both times in high leverage games. And that's when Kawhi really shows up, high leverage games. Nationally televised, opening day, he goes at LeBron, trolling him with ads and stuff, and then gives him the business, and the Clippers win. Christmas Day. The best player on Christmas Day was Kawhi Leonard, gave LeBron that work again. High leverage games, Kawhi Leonard, who can create his own shot, he can get his own shot nowadays. He can hit from the outside, he can take you to the paint, he can... By the way, even create for his teammates. He's gotten, he was a good passer last year. He started out not, such, not really a passer in his career. He's developed that skill. He's actually a very good passer this year in addition to that. And then his defense, especially in high leverage moments, he could turn it up. Now, the freak is great yeah. and, should, and has a chance to be the best player ever, right? But he can't get his own shot the same way. He can't shoot from distance the same way. And under pressure has not performed like yeah, Kawhi. I mean, I, I can't disagree with anything that you said. And I guess the question is, do you think this is a high enough leverage situation? Because I think that you're arguing, is Kawhi a better player than Giannis? I think the answer is yes. Would it be tougher in a game seven for LeBron to match up against Kawhi? I think the answer is yes. But I don't know if that's what the situation we have right now. It seems very clear to me that Kawhi and the Clippers are trying to get to the playoffs. They're trying to get the playoffs healthy. And Kawhi has had a history of injuries. Even last year, when he was being the best player in the league, it, he didn't look 100% healthy throughout the course of those playoffs. So I don't think that Kawhi is in a position where he will be necessarily trying to Go demonstrate that he is the true MVP in this moment. You know who's trying to do that? The guy who is in the MVP race with LeBron James right now. And maybe there's not much of a race, but I do think that Giannis has an opportunity to put a punctuation point on the idea that he is the MVP of the league. I think Giannis will be hungry and Giannis will be going at LeBron in this situation in a way that I'm not so sure Kawhi will. Opening day is different. Christmas Day is different. This will be another nationally televised game, but I'm not sure that as we as we get closer to playoffs that Kawhi is in this to try to take the game away from LeBron. And that offense you mentioned is entirely built around Giannis in a way that the Clippers offense has not been around Kawhi. They have other guys that they hand the ball off to. Giannis is not, he's the guy. They give him the ball, they let him make decisions, they let him get in the paint, and it's, you're asking much more. If LeBron's going to be guarding him and it's not Anthony Davis on occasion, then you're asking a lot more of LeBron in that situation because they aren't asking the same things of Kawhi, at least not yet. Couple things. One, the psychological toll is different. Right. Because Kawhi is coming for LeBron specifically in the same right. building and has made it his business. So that's more psychological pressure. Second thing is, Everyone knows you can't stop Giannis by yourself. I mean, Kawhi did the best job anyone could do, and Giannis was not very effective when Kawhi picked him up. And Stephen A. always bring this up. You pick him up half court, all of a sudden, he's not just with a head of steam going downhill, and then either you double him and, and, and he finds the open man or he yams it, right? Like, suddenly that's taken away, particularly when you have trees, which and you can wall off and you can defend the, the paint. So Kawhi was funneling him when he wasn't stopping him, funneling him toward Mark Gasol and Serge Ibaka. Okay, in fact, the Lakers have that. The Lakers have not only AD, but when AD said he didn't want to play center, they got JaVale McGee and Dwight Howard, who've played, who've exceeded expectations. Like, they've been the best version of themselves. So in fact, the Lakers are positioned to defend Giannis better than the Clippers are. The Clippers, Zubac's not really that kind of player. And, and, and the Clippers don't have their perimeter defensive team. I actually think the Lakers defensively can do a better job on Giannis, but good luck defending Kawhi Leonard. Yeah. I mean, there's no, there, I guess the question is, and uh, Kawhi Leonard is a great player. I think you could argue after last season that he might be the best player in the league in those important, at that time. 
but he's not better than LeBron over the course of his entire career. Of but I do think that the uniqueness that that um, Giannis brings is so difficult to stop. I understand what you're saying, but they fit, they found a way around that. You can't just have the trees in the paint necessarily when they're shooting the way they're shooting. And they have Lopez out there who's able to pull somebody out of the paint. So I'm not sure that it all falls on them or they take as much pressure off of LeBron as you think they do. I don't think that they necessarily do. I think if LeBron is matched up with Kawhi, excuse me, matched up with Giannis, the only benefit that he has is daring him to shoot. You have to back off and dare him to shoot. Otherwise, I think that Giannis can't power LeBron, but if you play him up close, Giannis is skilled enough to get into the paint and require that help defense, which then allows him to kick it out to shoot. No, I think, look, I think of everyone who's come along since MJ, mm -hmm. Shaq is going to be the greatest of all time. He was on, but not better than MJ. LeBron, not, well, we, we can argue that later, <laughs> not better than MJ. But the one guy I've seen where I thought if he, if his handles improve a little and his shot gets better, he could be unstopped is Giannis. But that's if and right. if. Right now, Giannis's handles are amazing for a seven-footer. But they're not amazing, period. Like, Ben Simmons right. is 6'10 and has that's better amazing. handles than LeBron, right? He just can't shoot at all. Giannis can't create his own shot the same way. Not Agreed. just that he can't shoot. Like, I think Giannis' Agreed. shot is a little underrated. But go get it yourself. Right. That's the problem. I agree, and I think that matters in the playoffs. I think that matters his ability to close games and to take shots and to create shots. That matters in the playoffs. He's the reigning regular season MVP. He's he about is. to be the MVP of the regular season again. It's hard for me to fathom a situation where there is someone harder to stop who seems committed to making a point that he is the guy at this point. That's not important to well, Kawhi. Well, here's the difference. The only thing that, you, that I, I understand your point is, like, Kawhi wants to take the building and Kawhi has something out for LeBron individually, maybe that's a psychological advantage but I'm, or a psychological boost, but I'm not sure that that matters as we get closer and closer to playoffs with a guy like Kawhi who's had an injury history and limped through the playoffs last year. I don't know that it matters going all out against LeBron this weekend. Time will tell, but I think, right, the reason, like, that, so we're agreeing on that stuff. What right. we're saying is, does Kawhi yeah. view this as a high leverage game or not? And here's the reason I think he does. He's got a psychological whammy on LeBron right now. Of course, Kawhi will never be as good as LeBron was in his prime. But LeBron's not in his prime anymore. Right now, Kawhi's better. Right now, Kawhi is more unstoppable as a scorer. I won't even say as an offensive player. And Kawhi's the better defender. And Kawhi's hungry and wants it. So I think to maintain that whammy... I'm He's going to put his pedal to the metal. You, lo you, lost me. you lost me when you said someone had a psychological <laughs> whammy on LeBron. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.